Attention Scholars. Wherever you are in your academic journey, you've probably had to chase down an argument. Maybe as a reader, maybe as a writer, you've encountered paragraphs whose logic eludes you. Might I suggest an alternative? Quit the chase and try to ace the argument with the ace model. ACE stands for Assertion, Commentary, and Evidence, the key parts that make a strong body paragraph. Strong body paragraphs carry the reader from the beginning to the end of an argument. The ACE model gives you space to work out these body paragraphs, and it makes writers more cogent and readers more critical. When done successfully, you will better understand the anatomy of a paragraph and how the different parts function cohesively. According to the ACE model, a body paragraph has three parts. Think of the assertion or main idea as the skin. It's the layer shown to the world, the part by which the author is judged, and what can I say? It's a vain world. Now you know that just as bodies are more than skin, body paragraphs are more than just a main idea. You have to have evidence, bone-like pieces that hold up and support the assertion. And last but not least, you have commentary, because a strong body paragraph is more than skin and bones. It has muscle that connects the bone and the skin so that the paragraph can carry the reader through the argument. You've likely realized by now that the ACE model considers reading and writing as integrated skills. It challenges writers to construct an argument that makes sense to the reader, and it challenges readers to reconstruct a writer's argument, and in so doing, determining whether it makes sense. So what's this look like in action? Let's start off with assertions. An assertion presents a single point of view that's reasonably defensible and ultimately serves the larger argument's thesis. You can imagine that there are lots of different types of assertions out there. There are causes, where one argues that something results in something else. There are correlations, where one argues that if something happens to one thing, something else happens to another. There are opinions, strong statements about how something is or how it works. And there are observations, suggestions. You can probably come up with some other types too. But the point of an assertion is that it presents something that can be argued. So let's say I'm trying to convince my students to use the Writing Center. I might assert the following. The Writing Center is an invaluable resource for students. It's an opinion that can be reasonably defended. But the work of defending this point of view is not in my assertion's job description, is it? That's the function of my evidence. Evidence provides reasons for your viewpoint, a.k.a. your assertion. I like to call evidence the BS defense. It keeps your reader from thinking that you're just pulling an argument from thin air. How does evidence do this? Well, it provides quotations, charts, studies, and historical evidence to back up your perspective. So if I asserted that the Writing Center is an invaluable resource for students, I could back up this assertion with evidence like, the Writing Center teaches study skills in time management. This is a fact that I could cite from a Writing Center workshop schedule. Writing Center usage comes at no extra cost to students. This is a fact that I could cite from the Student Handbook or the Writing Center website. Surveyed students report grade improvement. This is from a study that I could cite as well. You've probably noticed that along with your piece of evidence should come a citation. That's actually what the numbers represent future footnotes, parenthetical references, or whatever your style guide may require. But can you see how each piece of evidence could potentially strengthen my paragraph's assertion? I say potentially because we're going to need some muscle if we expect to carry our reader. That's why we still need commentary. Commentary connects the evidence to the assertion. For every unique piece of evidence, I'm going to need a new piece of commentary to show my reader how I just defended the assertion. This could be analysis, interpretation, it could be explanation with statements like as such or therefore. You're using commentary to assure that you never lose your reader in the presentation of your argument. So if I assert that the Writing Center is an invaluable resource for students, and I back this up with the Writing Center teaches study skills and time management, I need some commentary to connect these two ideas. 
I could explain how this equips students with tools for making the most of their education. If I point out that the Writing Center usage comes at no extra cost to students, I could elaborate that not using the Writing Center is a waste of student fees. And if I cite a study that says surveyed study students report grade improvements after using the Writing Center, then I could interpret it as an illustration of how the Writing Center can enhance the student learning experience. Now watch what happens when we use the ACE model matrix. We're going to put our assertion at the top, our evidence in the left column, our commentary in the right column. For each unique piece of evidence, I have a piece of commentary that back brings it back to the assertion. I want my readers to go from the assertion to a piece of evidence to commentary to evidence to commentary until they agree with my assertion. Having aced my writing center paragraph, here's what the reader gets in manuscript form. Now let's say, for the sake of argument, that my paragraph makes my reader anxious. He could freak out, but instead, the reader decides to ace it. With the blue highlighter ready, she finds the assertion at the top of the paragraph, right where it should be. The Writing Center is an invaluable resource for students. She then comes across a piece of evidence and marks it in red. His first inclination is to ask, well, so what does this have to do with anything? A good question, but the answer is in the commentary to come, and he marks it in green. These equip students to make the most of their education. Then there's another piece of evidence, followed by commentary, followed by evidence, followed by commentary. And by dissecting the paragraph, the reader can not only figure out the content, but can also determine why the argument works or doesn't work. Before I finish, I want to address some frequently asked questions about the ACE model. This first one is a two-parter. Must my evidence come before my commentary? No. Sometimes you'll find that the commentary actually introduces the evidence to follow. The important thing is that your commentary sufficiently links your evidence to the assertion. Now let's say you're using two pieces of evidence to make the same point. Could you use a single piece of commentary to link that one piece of evidence to the assertion? Yes, but if your reader gets lost, you are probably needed more commentary than you realized. So my rule of thumb is to alternate equal amounts of green and red. A lot of students have approached me and said, so I've aced my paragraph, but then how do I fit it in my paper? You'll want to figure out how to transition it. Maybe at the end of the paragraph, you need a line to feed into the next paragraph. Maybe you can use your next assertion as a bridge to the previous paragraph. Maybe your last piece of commentary closes out the paragraph nicely. All of these are possibilities, but I draw an extra little transition box in the matrix to help me think about the paragraph's context. A few seasoned writers have said that the ACE model cramps their style and that no one really writes this way. To them, I say, find freedom in the form and form in the freedom. The ACE model is not a method of writing as much as a tool for thinking about arguments. However a paragraph is written, it has a logic, and the ACE model can help you find that logic. But having taught the ACE model to writers of various levels and disciplines, I'm constantly reminded that it provides a surprising amount of flexibility. So give it a shot, and maybe it'll work for you. And don't miss the forest for the trees. Most academic work is not just one body paragraph, but multiple ones. See the ACE model as what's necessary to get your reader from the introduction to the conclusion. We'll talk about writing those for another time, but you can see how all these work together to make an argument. So congratulations, you've just learned the ACE model.